What's up guys? In this video, we are going to connect site A and site B with over 100 meters. We know that 100 meters is the limit of cut cables. So if you go beyond 100 meters, the quality of that connectivity will start to degrade. This is a perfect solution that you're looking at, what I have here. And this video is sponsored by QSFP Tech. I'm going to place a link on the description below because they have a number of products that you can choose from on which one you're going to apply those products that they have. Now, if you are not sure of what product you need, you can ask them and they can guide you. These devices can go up to 10 kilometer distance, all right? If your network switch has an SFP port, you wouldn't need even one of these media converters, okay? But for me, the switches that my client use doesn't have SFP ports, so I need these media converters from LAN ports going to fiber so that we can use up to 10 kilometer fiber going to the other side, all right? Let's look into this diagram because this is the exact setup we're going to do. In our case, it will be 500 meters. However, this can reach up to 10 kilometers depending on how it is required for you. Now, the speed for me is 1 gigabits per second. However, there's a version again that can go 10 gigabits per second. So it depends on the network requirement that you're setting up. Now, in this next diagram, guys, I want to make sure that you fully understood the use of the media converter from fiber to SFP. So if your switch is SFP ready, you don't need to get the media converter. All you need to get is the SFP adapter for the fiber connections. Let's go ahead and take a look at the devices. Okay, this is the first media converter. Then, yeah, that's how it looks like. Good packaging we have here. Then, there you go. That's the LAN port. Then we have the SFP port. Now, the case of this is metal, so it's tough. And of course, at the back is your power jack. Now, we need two of these because the other one is for side A, then the other one is for side B. So, just quick check here. Of course, this will be the same with the other one. Alright, there you go. Then, we have here the SFP adapter. Okay, first look. Looks cool. Okay. It has a rubber cover. Then, same with the other one. This is identical because for the other media adapter as well. Okay? So, let's plug it in. The media adapter, there you go. That's how simple it is. Okay? Same with the other one. Plug it. There you go. For this scenario, to simulate this one, we have a 1.5 meter cable. But of course, if you are going to deploy this one in real world, then we need to use the different fiber cable for outdoors. And we remove the covers so that we're going to plug it into the adapter or what we call the SFP. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and plug in the other one as well. Just plug it, then everything will work like that. So I went to power on both media converters, then you will have LED lights blinking there, two of them power and link between two devices. So it means to say that they are connected together. Now it's time to plug the LAN from both ends of the network. Then try to imagine that I'm going to deliver internet resources from site A going to my site B, which is my laptop. Okay, I have the cable. Plug it to site A's port and then going to the internet source then another cable coming from site B's media converter going into my laptop so that you can clearly see the setup let's just fix this one because I use same color yellow yellow so it's a little bit confusing so you can see that there's a fiber cable imagine that that's 10 kilometers distance from both ends of the network and I got to tell you guys, these meter converters are non-configurable. So just plug and play. And you have the ease of setting this one up. Okay? So that's one of the good things about these meter converters. 
Let's go to my laptop and try to check if the internet is delivered, okay? So what I'm going to do here is turn off my Wi-Fi connection because I'm connected via Wi-Fi, okay? Then you can see that I do not have connection yet. So I'll just jump into the settings menu and yeah, I do not have internet connection. So I'll jump into that settings of this ethernet. Then, yep, I can see here that we are on manual or what we say is static mode. So I'll just change this one to DHCP so that it will automatically get an IP address from the other end. And then let's wait for a bit, identifying then we are connected. All right, it's time to try and see if we have internet. You can see in the icon there that it's changed saying that we have internet connection. But to verify this one, let's open up Google and try to see some websites. There you go, kaboom, verified. All right, so this works perfectly for this kind of setup. And one of the things that you can see here is this is a very cost effective in terms of connecting sites that distance. And you're going to get to use fiber, okay, from site A to site B. Now, like what I have said, guys, these media converters are non-configurable and that's one of the advantages like plug and play. At the same time, there are other product solutions that you can see on QSFP Tech's website from transceivers to multiplexers to fiber optic, network switches, and data center accessories. Go check them out. You might need something from them. That's it for me, guys. I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And if you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. See ya!